I like to talk about Einstein's law of time warps. Einstein's law of time warp says that uh, uh, everything likes to live where it's going to age most slowly. <laughs> and gravity pulls it there. And so you age more slowly if you're on the surface of the Earth than if you're at high altitude. And so that's why gravity pulls you to the surface of the Earth. So it literally clocks <clears throat> run slower. slower. And that causes But, but, but so little slower, you wouldn't notice it unless you No, were... but that's enough to produce the gravity that holds you to the Earth. So little, yeah, four parts in 10 billion slower here yeah. than up at high altitude. But that's enough to produce the gravity that holds you to the Earth because you want so badly to age more slowly, even if it's only four parts in 10 billion. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so we've got that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay so now you've got a star. Mm -hmm. uh, and time is flowing more slowly on its surface. And as you say, uh, the, the heat, uh, you're radiating in a way, away the heat that uh, is holding it out, and ultimately it implodes because gravity wins. And as it shrinks smaller and smaller, gravity becomes stronger and stronger at its surface, and correspondingly, time flows more and more slowly. And ultimately, it reaches a size where gravity is infinitely strong at the surface, and time is flowing at zero rate. That's the zero horizon. Zero rate, so t time disappears. Something weird has to happen to time when you go inside the horizon, because after all, it does stop flowing if you're just above it. What happens is that time starts to flow in a direction you thought was a space direction. Inside a black hole, it's really a time direction. Mm -hmm. And you are forced always to move forward in time, so you're dragged willy-nilly toward the center of the black hole, and you can't get out. Because, because to get out, you had to go backward in time. Ah. 